You mean decent, not decent. Yo, decent. Yeah, decent. No, decent. In Clark City, we say decent. I'm decent. You mean decent, not decent. Yo, decent. Yeah, decent. No, decent. In Clark City, we say decent. Clark City, Clark City. What's the crack? You're watching the Lab TV, and today we are keeping it 100. We have a panel of one, two, three, four. Yeah, I had to count four music enthusiasts, and we're going to review Michael Grimm's song called "Comfortable," and we're going to review it on creativity, delivery, content, relatability, and replay value. Oh yeah! So everybody, get ready to introduce yourselves. Well, I am Jay to the air. I'm Monica, and I'm Noda Copes. And I'm Bubba Shakespeare. What's the crack, by? Are you well? So let's uh, kick kick it off, by. Let's let's see what the crack is. Make some noise, everybody. Damn. <coughs> I, thought was, I thought that was dancing. <laughs> uh, okay, right. So first off, I'm going to pass it around for creativity. For creativity, the, the video, the whole concept of it, it, it really blends well together. And uh, for the attention to detail, I, I'd probably give it 4.5. Oh, yeah. To be honest, I kind of get where he wanted to go, but for me, it didn't really work. Like, I'm into horror movies, but I don't want to see that in a music video. And when all this blood was coming, I was like, okay, I don't want to see this. Plus, as I always pay attention to details too, his head, with head this little Bert Simpson. His head, I, like, I give him, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> like, I give him a 2.5 for trying. I. <laughs> Cold out. Very cold out. <laughs> <laughs> and jokes. Um, it had a sense of disturbia, right? And uh, the, the detail in the video, I love that. The concept, the lyrics, the track, the production, mastering, mixing, I heard all of it. And I personally give it a 4.9. Oh yeah, solid. Uh, personally, myself, it's poetic. The video matches the message. I was relating to it, I went through a similar thing and the chorus hit me because I lived life lonely for a little bit yeah. and I get it, I understand where he's coming from, it's poetic, I'm going to give it a 5 because it just resonates with me so much and I actually want to work it in like this. So we're going to move on to a delivery. Delivery, you can see the, the skill sets are obvious, I don't have to say it so much, I'm going to give it a 4. Oh yes, yeah, son. No, I think he's very talented. He did a really good job. Like delivery wise, there's not much I can say. I give it a four point five. Mm -hmm. Video and lyrics and flow uh, and uh, that oomph was there as well. Four point five. I'm gonna give it a five because I love. I just I, I'm in love with it because of the delivery, the the way it changes up as well, and all the different elements and the ad libs and everything. I was like, damn, son. This is savage. This is something I just resonate with. So five for me. It's class. Uh, so the next is uh, content. For content, uh, I like it, but I cursed. So just because of that, I I, li I, I really do like it, Mitchell. And it, I know you. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a two. Uh, I think content. I will give it. 4.5. It's very intense, it's very detailed, very dramatic, but yeah, he's being very honest about his inner feelings, so I give it a 4.5. Thinking about it, if you were to throw that song on in a proper Dre Beats headset, close your eyes, or even just watch the video while listening to it, 
and you're probably doing beats headset, you'd be disturbed. It's got that sense of disturbing. I know I'm go going back to it, but the content and everything, if you listen to the lyrics, it matches the video, it blends in, it's one. So, solid five for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you just exactly. And I would have said the same thing five because it just it, it just resonates. It's the essence, yeah. <laughs> and we're not being overly nice now. This everyone's just being, we're just keeping it 100. You're keeping it 100, like it, it resonates with me, so that's why it's nice because yeah. I like it. So, of course, it's gonna be nice if I like it. Yeah, if I don't like it. Not so nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe. It's nice, so it's not. It. <laughs> if, I, if I didn't like it, I'd say it, but it yeah. in a constructive yeah. sense, like. Uh, so uh, we're moving on now to relatability. Well, as far as relatability for myself, I get what he's saying, and I re I relate to it to some extent, but not completely. So because of that, I'd probably give it a true. Um, I think personally, like, I do, I can relate to it to a certain extent and therefore I give it a book my life must have been just absolutely amazing because I can't relate to it at all. <laughs> you know, but on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a on a serious on a serious note, there are some tracks that this is how you know an artist is an artist because when you listen to that track, even no matter where you're from, that's why the music in the in the hood re resonates so much with people in the suburbs. There's no correlation there, yeah. but there's that bridge there when you listen to the lyrics and everything else. You're able to relate to it some way, somehow. And that's how I feel listening to that for the first time. But just because of that, I'll give it a solid, solid four. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five because it resonates. Yeah. Again, I was just, I just personally journey through loneliness itself, and I, re I relate to that 100%. So, yeah. good job, my man. Uh, we got one more to go. <coughs> Replay value. Replay value. Uh, I, I. This is my first time seeing this, and but I don't think you wouldn't. I wouldn't play it again, but I do. I do like it. I do. I know a method, and I always like the way you're true to self. But I wouldn't play this again. But I do like your music, uh, and because of that, I'd probably give it a treat. I think I would replay it, but not constantly. Because as you were already saying, it's a little bit disturbing, especially when you watch the video as well. It is disturbing, so if you're in a good mood, like, just don't watch it. <laughs> it's gonna drag you down. So therefore, I give it a 3.5. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking to myself, where would I play this track? Would I play it in my car when I'm cruising? Yes. All the time? No. Would I play it in the gym? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? So I, I just because of that, I'm kind of undecided. So I meet it both halfways, 2.5. Yeah, that's not bad. <clears throat> uh, for me, I'll give it a 5 right now, just because I would listen to that over and over again to draw inspiration from it mm -hmm. and to answer some of my own questions as well. Mm -hmm. Because the content he's talking about is what I've been journeying through. So I'd listen to him and I'd answer the questions he's asking and that kind of stuff. It would work that way for me. Like, and I'd hear sounds and yeah, it would make me want to create as well. Like, so. Mm. I give that a five for that. So we're gonna we're gonna tally up the score now and see what he gets out of hundred kid. So he scores an eighty two point six out of hundred. Go walk ahead, everybody make some noise. Right. Yeah. Keep coming with the songs, man. I'm, I'm a fan. I know you, man. Man, them Much nice sense. in it. Man, Much them sense. nice in it. <laughs> I, really, I really like to see. I really love to see your growth from the past couple of years and the music is always true to self so I'm looking forward to the next song. Uh, Mittel, if you need a chorus as well, hit, hit me up. I'll rock out some vocals for you there, bye. Probably Shakespeare. And we could be lonely together, bye. Well, okay, <laughs> 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 I see a remix coming. <laughs> well, now that I say that, though, I, I think he was saying that the old was lonely. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> With the rest of the snakes where I'm leaving you You're a scared little girl inside